Hi, my name is Argus Brown and I'm with Chanticleer Book Reviews and Media. Today, we want to talk about how to create an effective book cover using Canva. At Chanticleer Book Reviews and Media, we probably see thousands and thousands of covers every year. And one of the most important things that we find is that how does the cover look like when it's reduced to the size of an icon? And by icon, I mean something like similar here at Kobo, where this one here, this bitter road, it's about 80 pixels tall. And then down here, the uh, Stephen King novel you see is about 210 pixels tall. Now, Amazon uses about 150 pixels. And so what you're looking for is something that's really going to stand out when it's reduced to a small uh, image like that. The image is going to be one of the very first things that your potential customers see, and you really want something that's going to show up. Like, for example, here with this uh, Natchez Burning with uh, Greg Owl's book, um, kind of really washes out. You can see his name here, so that might be enough to get somebody thinking about it. Uh, here, the Sea of Crisis, the name is completely uh, gone, but you know, it, it might be a compelling to look at, but you can see a little bit about it. You can see the city back there, you can see the title. It looks like it may be a, a mood or something like that. Um, if you look at some of these long ones, like Stephen King is just very bold, very obvious what's going on. You're, you know, it's, a, it's Stephen King. You got a big title here, and if you look at on the thumbnail up here, you see you can read it even when it's reduced down to 80 pixels. So traditionally, what we would say is we would have you do a professional designer go through and generate a cover. And even though some of these were professional designers, you can see that it still doesn't always really hit home when it gets reduced to the uh, for electronic publishing. So what we would do in the past, if you're going to do it yourself, is you would use something like Photoshop or some other graphical editing tool, and it took a lot of expertise to get that going. And if you're going to do a designer, you probably want to go and do some initial sketches, give it to the designer, at least have an idea of what you're looking for. But luckily today, we have a bunch of online tools that allow you to quickly create some samples of uh, really reasonably looking uh, uh, covers. So one of them we're going to look at today is called Canva, and it's one of the new breed of uh, online HTML5 based software programs out there. And it's super easy to use. Basically, you can join on the fly, type in your email address or password, or you can connect with your Facebook account. Here we're just going to go ahead and connect right here with uh, an account we've already made up. So now what you see is a bunch of predefined templates. So Canva has uh, templates for Pinterest, Twitter, all kinds of different uh, Facebook ads and posts and all kinds of goodies. Now to be able to slide back and forth, you actually have to pick this little bar and select it and move it back and forth. It's not really intuitive, but hopefully they'll fix that. For our First uh, example, we're going to go pick a Kindle cover, which is predefined as 1410 pixels by 2250 pixels, which uh, supports one of their larger um, Kindle devices. So as soon as you click that, you're going to see on the left a bunch of sample uh, book covers. So you can start with one of these book covers and start modifying elements to kind of fit your need. So what I would do is I would look at uh, the different fonts, see what's readable, see what kind of foot fits the look and feel of your book. Now for our particular case, I'm going to select one of these and we're going to select this one here and you can click it and just drag it over into the uh, the canvas over here. So once it's there, you can do a couple things. Uh, for example, on the background image, if say you didn't like that exactly, they have some filtering that's similar to Instagram and you can pick some of the basic filters. You can you know, brighten it up, you can go back to normal, you can hit some of these advanced options and create, say, like a vignette on it. Um, you can blur it, you can do all kinds of stuff. So for our example, maybe we'll do a grayscale and see how that changes the overall feel of the image. Now, the contrast isn't good, so you can easily go and, say, click the text here and there's a color swatch up and you can change the color to something that's a little bit more you know contrasting so now we have a you know, a brand new cover that has a little bit different feel from the first one we did because the black and white gives it a real kind of old-timey feel now one thing that's really cool about Canva is that it has about a million images 
uh, in their database. So this particular image gives a difference of kind of the, you know, with this quote, you know, mother, daughter, kind of possible relationship, but, you know, maybe that's not what your book's really about. So I'm just going to search for uh, like Meadow Girl up here and see what shows up. And we have a bunch of photos that uh, we can choose from. And in our particular case, we can, uh, here's one we can use, and we can just drag that here. Now the previous filter is going to still be in there, so we can get rid of that. And let's make it a little bit more dramatic. And let's move this the over to the left. You can see as I move my cursor, um, it changes. So the cross there means that you can move the device. So I'm just going to move it uh, over here just so it shows up. And then if you also remember, there was some text up here, and I just remembered it was there. But I'm going to change that to be something kind of slightly green that's going to kind of match maybe that dark green of the tree or something like that. And there was a blurb down here too. And we'll pick that same green. See, it put it on its color swatch right here. So I can pick that same color again. So there we go. It's really changed the flavor again. So now we have a very different look and feel uh, for the book than we had with the other titles. So the real trick is to get an image that really is going to basically say something about what your book is. So if I wanted to save this design and use it, what I could do is I could go to Link and Publish, and then I would click on the image. And at this point, what you can do is you can buy the design. Um, it's usually just a, a dollar, so it's pretty cheap, and it allows you to use this uh, finished uh, work uh, in any way that you want to. So it's a pretty good deal, and if you're not ready for that yet, if you want to just share it and check your thumbnails, then what you can do is you can just hit the download a watermark draft right here and it'll download the draft and that draft will have the Canva marking on it. So it's a good way to try it out, put it on your uh, local media and see how it looks before you go ahead and uh, make the purchase. You can also share it with friends as well. Now another thing you can do too is you don't have to use their images, you can use your own and um, so I actually have an image here uh, that I took a while ago and I of course did that completely wrong but what you want to do is you want to upload the image here and then you want to drag it in here and then what I want to do is I want to put the name of my book in here so I'm going to delete this you can hit the little delete icon here and I'm going to write mine here which is called Come back to my and we'll have a book called Orange Dawn. And we'll put our author here. I don't really like the text coming out that wide, so what I can do is I can go over here. I can actually copy the text and then um, move part of it up high and then get rid of the Dawn part. And get rid of the, oops. You can also rotate it to interesting angles too, and I did not mean to do that. When you want to deselect uh, these boxes, it seems to work best if you click outside. Okay, now we have a little box here. We'll kind of slide it down. And you can see here now, as I slide things, there is a little faint blue line that moves up and down. And what that does, it allows you to center things with other elements. Um, in the design. So there's a quick, you know, basic uh, cover. So let's go ahead and generate a uh, thumbnail for that cover so that we can see what it looks like it, in different uh, platforms. Okay, I'm going to use something called a JPEG reducer. And there's a bunch of these out on the internet, but this is kind of one of them. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to hit this link and publish. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to publish the image. And what it's going to do, it'll prepare it. And then what it's going to do, it's going to automatically download it to my computer. 
and I didn't give it a name so it's going to be called untitled something. Okay, now that's downloaded, it's called Untitled Design 3 because we've done this before. I'll go over to the JPEG reducer and I will choose the file and I will call it Untitled Design and I'm going to go ahead and click it to reduce the image and that happens pretty quickly. And then I can click here where it says View the Reduced Image. So what it'll do is it'll actually show you the original image, which is going to be large in this case. And if you scroll down, you'll find a 64 pixel version, which is smaller than what we saw at Kobo, 100 by 100, which is kind of in between, and then a 125, which is kind of similar to the Amazon. Um, you can see here that that doesn't really meet a lot of my requirements. Um, I can barely see the text down here. Uh, I can't see the author's name at all. It just all washes out. So we're going to go and make a little couple changes to that and see if we can't fix that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually rename my design to something. I'm going to actually call it Orange Dawn. Uh, we'll call it Test 1 since we already have one. And we're going to change some elements here. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to move this up here. And I think what I'll do is I'm going to move this back for now to white because I think that's a little bit brighter. And I think I may actually make this font larger. So we were at uh, 64. You can type in a font number if you need something in between. So say I wanted, you know, like 65 or something like that. But for now, I think 72 should work. Now I'm going to move this down. Kind of get it out of the sun there. Okay. And then obviously my name here is needs some attention. So I will make that relatively I'll make it about as large as I can without it splitting up. Also change it to white and then you can select this down arrow here and I'm gonna make it bold. And we'll put it up here. Actually, I might even make it bigger. There we go. Okay, so I think another thing I want to do is I'm going to actually put another quote here. So, because I don't think a mother never forgets it's going to work for our particular one. And we're going to actually put it from Chanticleer uh, book. Reviews. Now, once I put Shadow Clear Book Reviews here, you can see that it actually spilled on two lines. So I can grab these little handles on the right and the left, and I can make this a little bit bigger. And if I can't quite see that, you can actually zoom in with this little zoom feature over here. So now we can actually see it. And I don't think actually again green is going to work, so we'll just use white for now. Just get a little bit better contrast. Okay, now we have something that's a little bit better. And okay, let's do the same thing now. That looks better, except I, I'm not centered. There we go. Now we're centered. You saw the blue line again. So let's go ahead and publish this guy. We're going to publish it as an image. Now once it's downloaded, we can go over here to the JPEG reducer, just hit back a couple times. And we're going to choose this new one, Orange Dawn, test one, number two. And we will reduce it. And there's the full size version. And there's the thumbnails, and I can 64 is pretty small, but I can almost read that. Um, not really. I could probably read the uh, the next larger one, and but I can definitely read the 100 by 100, orange dawn and artist brown. And here it's uh, pretty clear as well. Okay, now you have a design you want. What you're going to want to do probably now is uh, share it with some friends, get some feedback. So you can do that on the link and publish. You can go over here to this link, and you can share that link. Uh, you can email it to your friends and then they can look at your design online 
if you want to, you can actively allow them to edit, fix issues, and things like that. But it's a really good way to get a bunch of designs out there and get some feedback. Well, thank you for watching our video. And if you do make a book cover, go ahead and share the link at the bottom in the comments. And uh, we'll be sure to check them out. And please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. And we'll hope to uh, see you there. Thank you much.